Greetings YouTube, just a quick video to let you know the new gears turned up that I ordered. This is 37 teeth. Uh, this will go on the drive shaft attached to the blades and this is an 18 tooth teeth and that will be modified and that will be available to go on the front of the motor hub if required. You can see that's the part number and then it's a half inch pitch and then it's 37 teeth so it's a CH14 half Z37 and that is pretty awesome. One thing I don't even know if this is going to fit in between the uh, plates but we'll soon find out. Yeah let's go check that. What I'm thinking sorry what I'm thinking with the bigger one is that will only be put on the turbine in sustained 25 miles an hour wind. just fits it literally just fits wow that is pretty awesome and this one will have a collar welded on same as that okie dokie yeah wicked wicked indeed and the small one I didn't show you the part number on that, did I? So it's a half inch, 18 tooth, blah -de blah -de blah This is the old uh, bum -bum 26 tooth off the motor, which was replaced with a 20 tooth. And I'll just show you a size comparison. So that this needs six holes drilling in. Uh, 45 millimeter is the distance between the centers of the five or five point five millimeter holes that I'll have to drill in there and then it needs uh, 12 mil minimum drilling for the uh, motor hub sweet and the bigger one the big one this has a 16 mil bore and the little one I think it's an eight they both need adjusting the big one this collar is the wrong size it's just for show so the big one will have a collar put on right there perfectly centered As an option, I could weld it straight onto that. Uh, straight onto this existing one, but I don't think that's a very good idea. I should put another one on. Two is better than one. So yeah, that's that. I'll make a completely separate video uh, doing all the work on them, but they will be going on. The turbine's getting a lick of paint. It's not much wind. All this is getting painted. I'll continually remove these bolts to make it look better. Now, I'm thinking of an easy way to get rid of all this from there to there and just use a very large uh, bearing on there but that'll be in a future video. If we get some wind today uh, and someone comes over to help me with a winch we'll get it up and she'll have a little run but I haven't really had a chance to test it in this mode uh, with the 28 to the 20 and this one as I said this big one that'll be for high wind only because if I'm running the 37 to the 18, that's these two, then you can see it's just over two. So every time the blades go around once, the motor's going to go around twice. That's what we want. But that will only work in relatively high wind, 20 miles per hour plus. So yeah, onwards and upwards, I'll see you very soon. I've just got to say, I'll put some photos with the me uh, measurements at the end of the video. Let's get these measurements. I'm certain this one, the bigger 37 tooth one is 155 mil. Yep. And the 18 tooth one is 78 mil. Just over six mil. It must be caught an inch, I guess. That one's actually, yeah, it's about the same. But obviously considerably heavier lots more metal in that so that will be wicked but will require very high wind so i'll see you in the next video peace i'll just show you the what it's saying for the bores just over nine mil yeah i know that one's 16 that's what it said on the spec sheet so we'll get those going i'll see you soon